Okay, the Frank shoe. Some form of a review. Bear with me on this one because I've never done anything like this before. Typically shoes arrive in a box, right? These arrive in a bag, which I assume probably helps with shipping costs because you've you got a smaller container that isn't full of loads of cardboard. But I actually really like it. I like the branding, I like the, the aesthetic of it. It's, it's To me it's unique, so I, I really, really rate it. My first impressions of the shoe are that I really, really like it, but you cannot deny one quite important factor when it comes to the shoe. And that is, it looks very similar to this. And I mean, very similar. That being said, I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing. This is one of my all time, all time, all time favorite shoes. For me, it fits my foot perfectly. I just love it for training. And I always said that if I would make a shoe, I would basically take this and make like a Mark II improved version of this. Farang beat me to it. Now making a shoe is incredibly time consuming, incredibly expensive and incredibly risky. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, especially when trying to make one from the ground up, which is what makes this, the Le Flair shoe, so fucking impressive. But it shouldn't really discredit from this just because it has a lot of similarities to this because most people who've made parkour shoes so far have done a very similar thing. So I am gonna pull some comparisons between the Farang shoe and this because this exists and because I can, like why wouldn't I? First things first, this shoe's biggest fault comes in to the sort of structural integrity of the, the mesh. I do not train heavy compared to so many people, but after a while, even light training, you're gonna end up blowing out this kind of area. Farang have just, I mean, you can compare. They've come in with a different type of fabric. This is more of a suede compared to a mesh. It's just much, much more durable. You're far less likely to burn through that nearly as quickly as, as that. Personally, I really like the branding. Really simple Farang label placement, and, and generally this shoe just sits well towards the top of kind of the best looking parkour shoes in my opinion. Regarding the sole, they have basically kept the exact same sole as Adidas, minus the little holes. I do not think this is a bad decision at all. I love this sole. It can be a little bit slippery on gym training. I find it kind of just, it dusts very quickly. The thing I love about this shoe and the Adidas shoe is that to me it feels like it grips this way. Compared to a lot of shoes, like personally, I find the strikes very, very rigid on the toe. When so you just, when it feels like you're sticking a rail precision, it feels like it looks like that, and you're just staying on it and not like. With these, it, it feels like you're, you're landing and essentially gripping around the rail. I'm probably massively exaggerating there, but I just, it, to me, it just really feels like you're just coming in and just like hugging the, that rail or wall, and it just, it feels very, very secure. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the best feeling in the world. It's so good. So many people are like, is, is the shoe good for, for impact? Is it good for flips and, and stuff like this? Personally, I'm a, a really strong believer of the fact that your training wow. is a huge amount of the, the factor of whether or not you think a shoe will be good. Like whether or not you are, dare I say it, a competent athlete is gonna be a big factor of that. I, I, I'm not gonna be one of these guys who's like, oh, the impact protection's amazing. I'm loving them so far. I think I, d I don't take a huge amount of impact, but I do like drilling precisions and I've had no major complaints. One thing that I have struggled with is that for me, I found that the Frang shoe to be quite rubby and also quite thin. They're definitely getting better, but it was quite a niggling kind of irritation and, and just uncomfortableness under, under the, the ball of my ankle. The Adidas shoe, on the other hand, is considerably more padded and I would say sits a tiny bit lower. I imagine Farang have probably pulled this up for more ankle stability in, in this area. It's, it's not some be all and end all, like don't buy the shoe, it's gonna fuck up your ankles kind of thing. It, it has not been a massive issue. All right, we are here with Jordan Lee, newest addition to the Merch Projects. He's been training in the Frank shoe for, not gonna lie, only a day. Um, it's my pair, but they just happened to fit him, so he's he's been a uh, test driving them. Any any first impressions? Surprisingly, really good. Like 
I usually only train in skate shoes, so I'm not too much of a fan of the thicker, more Adidas type of shoe. But the grip on these first four, the grip is excellent. Like the rubber sole, it just everything. Like Dom said earlier, even when you land on walls, it just sounds nice. They're also surprisingly thin. They're not very thick, so you can feel quite a lot of the landing. I think Jordan likes them. Yeah. I think I might have just lost my training. Shoes. <laughs> you zooming in? No. I can see the lens. In terms of the weight of the shoe, I think it's pretty light. Also, it's a really flexible shoe. I got I got no complaints with any aspect of this. With regards to how well they're wearing in, minor aesthetic stuff here, but that kind of thing doesn't bother me. Like you're gonna trash a pair of shoes anyway. The suede is holding up really well. It has had a slight discoloration. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but sometimes in the right light, they look a bit kind of almost greeny blue rather than black, but it's not, it's not a big deal. So far, the grip is kind of, is doing all right. Like it's wearing down, but it's, it's far from being a problem yet. On one of the shoes, the sole is starting to peel away here. It's not an issue yet. It might be soon. It might be in a, in a month's time, the sole, whole sole might peel off, but I'm, I'm yet to have any major concerns with this shoe. I think to be honest, my biggest drawback of this shoe is just the sizing. The gap from eight to 9.5 is pretty big. It's meant I've had to squeeze myself into a pair, which now that I've really kind of really forced myself in there is, is okay, but still after a long day of training, they could feel more comfortable. And that's not the shoe's fault, it's just the fact that there's not enough sizing options. And I totally understand. It's expensive to make each size, so obviously the guys at Farang have had to try and spread it to cover as many people as possible. But hopefully as the brand grows and if they end up doing a Mark II of this or even a new shoe in the future, they'll be able to introduce more sizing to make it a little bit more sort of even across the board for everyone. Of course, this is going to be more expensive than the Adidas shoe. It's going to be more expensive than a lot of shoes that maybe perform at a similar level. That being said, I still think you should go from the Farang shoe if you can. I truly believe that we need to be supporting the parkour brands that are making parkour shoes because we need to be supporting the industry of parkour. It's going to enable more people to make a career off of this sport. It's going to enable more progression within the brands and, and within every aspect of this sport. So. If you can afford it, I, I seriously recommend going out and getting a pair of these. Ready? Yeah. All right, thank, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a little test into shoe reviews. It's something that we want to do more in the future and we're going to continue to develop. So sorry if this one was a little bit ropey. But anyway, as promised, we have a pair of the Farang Elevates to give away. They're a UK 9.5, US 10, EU 44, so maybe only worth applying if they're definitely going to fit you. But to win them, all you've got to do is share this video on your Instagram story, tag the Motors Projects and tag Team Farang, and we will choose a winner within a week and announce it on our story. Get trying. I just ruined your shoes. Yes!